Welcome back to Fox and Friends. Well, newly released FBI documents revealing the wife of the Pulse nightclub gunman knew about his horrifically planned attack. The statement, written by an FBI agent and signed by Noor Salman, states, quote, I knew on Saturday when Omar left the house about 5 p.m. that this was the time that he was going to do something bad. I knew when he left the house he was going to Orlando to attack the Pulse nightclub. Here to react, Muslim scholar and author of In the Land of Invisible Women, Dr. Kanta Ahmed. Dr. Ahmed, thank you. I just want to get right to this. Does this prove, and of course, Noor Salman is uh, being charged, does this prove finally that she was guilty of material support for an act of terror? So the documents I've seen, which are apparently her own recorded, uh, uh, um, uh, record of the events, certainly seem to suggest that. I find it so abhorrent that she had many opportunities to report or call for help or notify authorities. And I think morally she's as implicated in the killings as her husband. How common is this for a spouse or a loved one of a terrorist to have knowledge of one of these acts um, beforehand and not do anything? I think it's probably more common than we know. And we're beginning to realize in the West that the female jihadist is as much of a threat as a male jihadist. She may not be herself a jihadist, but she certainly was complicit. And I feel she's morally responsible, not only as an American. She was American-born, I'm American, but as a Muslim. She's, mus she's Muslim. And Islam demands that you bear witness, including against the members of your own family, when you can prevent injustice. So she's gravely failed in that respect. Uh, it's sort of a rudimentary reading of Islam would also say, well, women are, are, are taught to be submissive to their husbands, especially in a jihadist context. So did she feel obligated to, to withhold that information because her husband was going to carry this out? Certainly she could be afraid. Her lawyers have said she was in an abusive marriage, that she didn't have access to funds until right before the attack when he put her on his various bank accounts. But Islam is very clear. Men and women have the same duty to support the authorities, to have a duty to the society in which we live, and to expose injustice. That's documented in the Quran. That's what the Prophet Muhammad says. It's, she's really failed in an Islamic what, duty. What role are women playing in ISIS, in either joining as fighters, or, or what role are they saying? Are you seeing an increased role? Or what's your take on that? So it, recent, recently, Europe has been struggling with the return of females that were married to ISIS fighters or themselves jihadists recruiting. We know from Israeli research of female um, suicide operatives or would-be operatives that they recruit, they collaborate, they conceal, mm -hmm. they themselves uh, inculcate in their children the desire, right. and they also may personally be perpetrators but too. Let me take you just back real quick to, to your saying, you know, the, the obligation to the Quran, and that is the problem, Dr. Ahmed, is we've seen this in San Bernardino. We've now seen it in uh, Florida, in Orlando. I covered both of those for the channel, and what you saw were communities, and in this case, uh, the woman, uh, the wife, not coming forward. How do we stop this going forward? How do you get the message into these communities to encourage the wives to speak out? I think it's twofold approach. Number one is United States authorities should see this as an opportunity for very harsh punishment. Mm -hmm. Of course, she's entitled to a legal defense in this country, but she needs to be made an example of. We will not tolerate this kind of collaboration in these communities. But number two, Muslims like me, but also Muslim scholars and Muslim leaders have to remind Muslim communities right. this is a central principle of Islam. We, we call it out. We got to leave it there, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you so very you, much for joining us today.